This is Gene Key, KDD News. Amarillo.com reports a Hereford man died early Wednesday after his car exploded. Around 6.40 a.m., Tommy Barrett, 56, attempted to start a Hereford Independent School District car outside his home in the 100 block of North Avenue K when the vehicle exploded. The car was fully engulfed when authorities arrived on the scene. Family members were able to move Barrett out of the car before authorities arrived on the scene. Barrett died from injuries sustained from the explosion. Hereford police fielded questions to the fire marshal's office. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives and the Amarillo Bomb Squad are assisting with the investigation, according to police. Amarillo.com reports an Amarillo federal judge approves a forfeiture request from U.S. District Attorneys seeking nearly $200,000 seized from a couple on Interstate 40 last year. U.S. District Judge Mary Lou Robinson said the money was seized after troopers stopped Richard and Lisa Parker. The money is forfeited to the government because it was intended to be furnished in exchange for a controlled substance, and nobody claimed the money. On February 18th of last year, Department of Public Safety found a cardboard box with clothing and three containers with a large amount of bulk U.S. currency in a luggage compartment. The couple was arrested at the scene on money laundering charges. ConnectAmarillo.com reports the Amarillo cop that was involved in a shooting in a multiple-hour standoff on February 6 has been cleared. The grand jury heard the presentation of the Special Crimes Unit in regards to the incident on Interstate 40. The grand jury found no wrongdoing on behalf of the officer and firing of one round. On February 6, when the standoff ensued for about three and a half hours at the Super 8 Motel near the Quarter Horse Drive off Interstate 40, a SWAT member knocked on a room door at the motel and a man inside threw a rifle out the window. An officer was coming around the corner of the building when he saw through a window a man with a pistol. The man reportedly pointed the pistol toward the officer, and the officer fired a shot, missing the target. The officer's identity is not being released and has already returned to duty. If you like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.